Hey guys, welcome back to Dawn Investments. Today's video is just going to be um, a quick tutorial on how you guys can play big movers like uh, 100 plus movers, 100% plus movers. Like for example, the big move from the other day, DCIX and a lot of the shipping companies around this time. Um, there's two main methods that I want to show you guys today, just so you have a a better understanding of how to play these for the next time they come because most like these these are rare but when they come it'll all be worth it the wait time so i just want you guys to be prepared for the next time it happens and i want to show you guys the methods to do it so getting right into it the first method that we use to the first method we use to trade these type of stocks is a bit more expensive especially in terms of commission you can do this really well with things like U-Stock Trade because of its T plus zero settlement periods and its $1 commissions. But you can also do it with accounts that lack uh, pattern day trading rules, just not as much as U-Stock Trade. Or if you have an account with 25000 you can avoid the pattern, pattern day trading rules. Um, but this method is basically just scalping. Most of you might know what scalping is and if you don't you can watch this section if you do know what scalping is you can skip to the the next method which um the time will be in the description um but for the scalping method the first thing you would want to do is just zooming in on when this thing started moving which was about two days ago not two days, i believe friday sorry last friday Okay, so looking at the five minute chart, you can see that this thing had a big move on Friday. And it was probably very hard to play because intraday, you know, you're not you don't know this thing is gonna go up, you know, three hundred percent. You you're not thinking that. So when do you get in, how do you get in and things like that? It's for the scalping me scalping method, it's pretty simple. So you would get in a regular entry that we teach, you know, get in with a spike in volume, a good candlestick, a good candlestick chart pattern, um, like a hammer or something like that. And get in off those uh, pullback off an EMA or, or just a pullback on terms, in terms of the price. So right here, it spiked up. Well, the one minute chart looks a little different, but on the five minute chart, it spiked up and it had this brief pullback. The pullback would be a little bit more on the one minute chart but as you can see it had this brief pullback and here you know you would get in right above the open of the previous red candle so you know if you got in here this would probably be a good place to get in so you probably will be wondering how can you scalp this so the scalping method is you know if you have USOC trade then you would set a percentage that every time that hits the percentage you would simply sell and then play the next pullback sell and then play the next pullback send your stop losses a certain percentage away in terms of stop loss uh we usually recommend a two to four percent stop loss but when things moving 600 percent you can't use that rule anymore because it's moving so rapidly so instead of a two two to four percent stop loss i would say go for a little bit higher of a stop loss especially if it's trending upward so maybe instead of 2 to 4, maybe make it uh, 10 to 20 or even 20 to 30 if you're willing to take the risk. Because this thing could drop 2% is this much. If this thing could drop 10% uh, and still go up, but in this case it didn't. So after you have your stop loss figured out, scalping is simple. Once you enter, you hit 10% and you know you sell for that profit. And then, boom, you have your 10% profit. Now you're waiting. And you can't be tempted to buy that to a high of a price. So if you sell on your scalp, make sure you don't just rebuy in immediately after because uh, it's going up. Because you can get in and then it can drop. You never know with these type of stocks. Like with DCIX, it went up. But this is not something that will happen all the time. It can always just go back down. So instead, after you hit your 10% or your whatever profit goal you want to reach, sell and then wait for the next pullback. And for the next pullback, do the same thing. The The method with scalping, however, to scalp is, you know, you're not holding it for that long. 
you hold it in it for, you know, maybe five to 15 minutes type of thing. And that's kind of why scalping, you would buy and sell kind of quickly instead of holding it all day. Scalping can be safe, especially for someone who, for a stock that is very volatile and can drop very quickly. It can be safe and it's a good way to lock in profits. But with something like this, commission fees can get, you know, it could get kind of expensive, especially if you're not using something like you stock trade with dollar commissions. So with the commission fees um, adding up, it's really best to keep in mind the profits that you're taking. I'm just using 10% as an example, but you can definitely uh, increase your profit margin, especially for something that, you know, moves up 10% rather quickly. If in within five minutes is already up 10% or within like a minute it's up 10%, then maybe increasing it to your profit goal of like 15 and then selling. But this method really is a good way to lock in profits because just as this went up 300%, after 15%, a lot of these stocks can, you know, they can plummet and then you're either breaking even or even worse, losing money. So I really do feel like scalping, especially stocks like this who what are moving on subpar news or you're not really sure the catalyst or you, you're just not sure about the stock. Scalping, to me, might be your... One of your better options. The next method, uh, which is a little bit more risky, but can s potentially see greater gains in profit, is the method of, that involves holding it the whole the entire day. But with that method, it's a it's I know during the day of trading and it's hard because you know stocks move up and down. You're afraid you don't want to lose so much money, especially if you have smaller accounts. You may see um very big pitfalls especially if the stock drops people with small or big accounts you can see very big pitfalls when you're holding something like this and you know your finger may be on the sell button and ready to go but um there's ways to hold a stock like this all day and that's what i'm going to explain if you plan on holding this all day you get in let's say you get out the same entry that you got in for the scalper method so you get in here around this price right here um, for the method of holding it the whole day, I would the most important part of this method is setting a trailing stop loss. Now, a trailing stop is is in, is offered by many brokerages, but not all of them. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not offered by Robinhood or your stock trade. It's more for brokerages that have, you know, those higher commission rates. So if you don't trade with those brokerages, you may not see it. Uh, TD Ameritrade, Fidelity, or they all have a trailing trailing stop functionality. Uh, trailing stop loss is basically just setting a stop loss that moves with the price. So, for example, if you set a stop loss of two percent from where you bought in, and the stock goes up all the way up here, it'll be two percent from this price, not um, the original price that you bought it in at. So you'll set a stop loss two percent away from you know here. And that's um that's fine. And then as it goes up here, it'll now be two percent away from the price it's at now, if that makes sense. So for a stock that's moving, you know, three hundred percent in a day, and you want to hold it all day for maximum potential, you would set a trailing stop of around, like I said, you scale it depending on the movement of the stock, but two to four percent, or if the stock is moving like three hundred percent. You would set it a little higher, like 10 to 30%. So set that trailing stop. Like if you bought it here, you would set it, let's make it like 15, a 15% 15 trailing stop. And you set it right here. And you simply just ignore it. You have to be ready to take take a loss. You you're watching it, you're not walking away because like I said, you this thing could it could do a lot of things, but you're watching it, you set the trailing stop 15% away, and as it moves up, it's it's not hitting your fifteen percent stop loss, and the benefit of that, if it as it moves up, and the benefit of the trailing stop is that as it moves up, you're mitigating your risk, because let's say you've held it successfully throughout most of the day, and you're not at this point. With a regular stop loss, your with a regular stop loss, the stop loss is still gonna be where it was originally. 
originally your stop loss is 15% away from here at for example in this example it'll be at 530 your stop loss would be right there with a regular stop if you hold it the whole day and let's say you walk away and you have the regular stop your stop loss is still at 530 so if you walk away or leave your computer for a second this thing could plummet all the way down to your original stop loss and you would have lost all that profit. The 60% profit you just made would have been gone. But with a trailing stop, which is the smarter way to hold these things, these big movers um, throughout the day, it'll have a 50% stop loss from your new price point, which is here. So instead of losing the whole 60% you just made, you'll probably, you'll just lose the, you just lose 15% out of your profit, your potential profit. And that's only if you, you know, you walk away or you're going to do something else. Because if you're watching the stock move, then uh, there's a good chance that you may not even let it let it hit its 50% stop loss. If you see it's already, if it's going down rapidly, you could just probably sell before it even hits the stop loss and, um, you know, save some extra profit. I prefer the second method to the scalping method, but like I said, uh, this trailing stop is something that not everyone has access to. You can do it mentally or and manually. Uh, for example, if you're using Robinhood or you stock trade or one of those, instead of you're not going to have the trailing stop functionality. But every time the stock moves up, you can, you know, remove your stop loss and set a new one and just do a manual like this. And that's why I really just prefer this method because you maximize gains because with scalping, let's say you go up 15%. The time in the time you're waiting for a pullback, the stock is can go up a certain amount. Like for example, here, you let's say I sold, I scalped it for 10%. Like right there. As I'm waiting for the next pullback, the stock moved up another 15, 16%. So I just missed out on that because I'm waiting for the next pullback. And scalping is too risky to do if you don't wait for that pullback. So you literally ha should wait for that pullback. So that's why I prefer this trailing stop um, method. But it's really up to you, your preference. Some people like scalping because you lock in profits. Um, you lock in profits quicker. It's easier. It's not, it's not as stressful. But for me personally, I prefer the method too. But it's really up to you and your trading style. So just keep that in mind next time you're trading. And next time you see a big mover like this. Shipping stocks are moving very well currently. So you may even see it um, a little bit after this video. So just keep trying to keep these methods in mind. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you know, just let me know.